I'm going to talk, my agenda will be, the purpose of my talk is to share our experience. And to motivate, most of the diabetologists are hesitant, hesitant to take the diabetic I mean, type 1 children to initiate similar projects in your respective area. To request philanthropists to support underprivileged type 1 children. And also, I am eagerly waiting to get more ideas from experts who are doing similar projects across the country. And of course, type 1 children, unfortunately, I don't know if, if I, am, I stand myself to correct it. Is there any registry in type 1, regist uh, type 1 children in India? I don't know. Krishna? It is there. And, uh, you know, 8 months to 18 years, <clears throat> estimated 20,000 children in Tamil Nadu, estimated 3 lakh children across India, lifelong 4 times a day insulin, lifelong finger prick, glucose 3, 4 times, 70% from poor socioeconomic socio data, high risk of kidney failure and diabetic coma, normal healthy life with good treatment. Do we understand the pain of the patient? This patient is Lata, is 20 year old. She developed uh, type 1 diabetes, had all complications. She had blindness and she died at the age of 20. And his brother is Sundar, is again 11 year old boy, he's still alive and he's there in the family. Very, very poor family. And uh, they come to us, you know, explaining all those tragic moments in their life. So it is really it's a pain. Do we understand the pain of that fa patient and family? I think we must. There are a lot of pain in the treatment of type 1 diabetes. One is psychological pain. The patient has fear, anxiety, inferiority complex, lack of self-confidence, and then social stigma. Most of the family members, when they know their child is type 1, they wanted to keep it confidential. They want to uh, you know, keep it confidential. And they also, when they admit in the school, when the principals come to know, they don't want to take the responsibility, especially in a small uh, rural uh, schools. If somebody says, you are type 1, they say, if he gets complicated complications, we cannot tackle. So you better put them in some other school. And then marriage, when the type 1 children when they get married, you know, nobody is willing to give daughter or a son for a type 1 child. It's happening. Even in the rich persons, you know, in Coimbatore, there's one millionaire who is a type 1 uh, child. Now he's uh, ready for marriage. Nobody is there to... This fellow is offering Mercedes Benz, one crore. Nobody is willing. And financial pain, the pain for the Pope family, and then physical pain. And, you know, when type 1 children, we have to give four times injection, we have to give four mm needle. But sometimes in the government hospital, they give a needle which is used for a whole month and it's so painful. So physically also physical pain. So these are the pains which we experience in treating type 1 children. Normally, if you see an average uh, low middle income or low income people, 10,000 per month, cost of insulin is about 3,000, cost of consumer 1,000. When it gets a DKA episode, it may be 1 lakh to 7 lakhs. When, get, when they get uh, renal disease, again 7 lakhs, you know what is the cost of a child's life. Some problems in some of the clinics, some hospitals, there is no dedicated type 1 clinics, especially in private and in the government hospital sector also. They don't have a type 1 dedicated clinics in some rural hospitals. Insulins mostly in syringes and vials. They give old insulin, they don't give semi-analogs and all. And cold chain storage of insulin is a big problem because of electricity failure and things like that. 60% of the rural families don't possess a refrigerator, no glucometer, monthly visits for glucose and insulins, no dedicated database, high morbidity and mortality. High cost of investigations and admissions and treatment in the private sector. Suppose if they come, you do GAD antibody, then uh, uh, peptide, all these uh, you know investigations sometimes uh, you know very very costly, and they don't want to go to a government hospital, and they, we have to do these uh, tests, and huge risk, and especially now so many uh, types. One is come type 1.5, 1.75, 1 
what not. And you know, you have confusion always. So you will have to do all these tests necessarily. Huge prescriptions of analog insulin beyond poor man's family finance. Lack of teamwork because individual practitioners, they don't take type 1 because you need a team to treat type 1 and non-sustainable for poor families. The myths and facts. Some people, even now, some of the diabeto not diabetologists, some physicians or some rural family practitioners, they will always think, oh, nothing can be done for the child. And ch the family gets depressed. Some insulin on board, mostly BD mixed insulin, because they know they cannot give four times, they give only two times. And child not going to survive too long, they think, the family. More trouble for me. And technologies, they are not aware. See, I think most of the physicians, family physicians should come to uh, conference like Diacare, where you get updates, what are insulins available, and uh, what are uh, new things we can do. And uh, especially in family, the difficult uh, attenders, they only you know, spread the rumors. And what are our priorities? One is uh, insulin and consumables. The second is insulin pump therapy. And then advanced research. And then refrigerator support. When the child wants to go to school or college, educational. And after the education, placement support. Removal of social stigma. And you must talk to the ministry and see what you can do. A lot of money is there in ICMR, in the government. We don't utilize fully. And the exit strategy. Suppose everything is over after 18 years. What will be the future for them and for the family? And then health insurance. Very important. Health insurance can be done easily. I'll come one by one. I recall the Banting lecture. Noble lecture delivered Stockholm on September 15, 1925 by Frederick Banting. I'm standing in the Banting Hall. Insulin is not a cure for diabetes. It is a treatment. Now I come to insulin and consumables. You can see transformational change with best insulins in pens. This is another lady called Baby, uh, Baby Malati. Uh, we gave them insulin. What a change on four times a day insulin. They were taking twice a day insulin. They were in the <coughs> government hospital. They came to our trust and uh, we provided them the newer insulin and then four times insulin with new ne good needles. You can see. And also we gave st strip support. Again, uh, I think uh, people like you who are influential with the uh, industry, you try to get glucometer free, glucose strip free for the last, I mean, all the 365 days. They have a trust. They have CSR. Many companies they give. We are uh, fortunate. I am good at networking. I approached some companies. We are getting glucometer free, strips also free for all our children. So I think every one of you can, you know, do at least for 10, 20 children free of cost glucometers and strip throughout. Strips means not one or two. In monthly, you need at least uh, uh, 90 strips, and then you should give a good glucometer, educate them. This is a birthday boy. He was admitted on uh, uh, three days before his birthday in a diabetic coma, ketoacidosis. And then he came, we adopted and we treated, and we celebrated birthday on his birthday in the hospital. He was so happy. So money, money cannot buy everything, you know, the happiness what the family and the child had really, you know, touching. We normally request for one child support, somebody wants to support 5,000 rupees per month. We are, uh, we have adopted, we are treating 600 poor children with type 1 diabetes. We give analog insulins in pen filled cartridges and we give glulazine uh, as, as or glargin usually. And we have good connection with the company, so we are getting uh, not free, but a very discounted rate. Nobody can get that much discount rate. They know our trust, and they are giving supplying throughout the year, non-stop. And ultra fine needles, we give. We make sure we give four millimeter needle, and we make sure the chill, I mean, needles are replaced. Then comes to the insulin and social stigma. The society to be educated. I think. Bansi should organize a family meet where type 1 children come. I saw in uh, Nagpur, Sunil Gupta organized the type 1 children meet. You allow to invite all the family members and the society, leaders like uh, Rotary, Lions. Tell them type 1 is not to be worried. 
they are dis uh, I mean, they, they can be easily uh, supported. And then NGOs, I already told you, so many NGOs are there, they have CSR fund, they have money. I'm a fast Rotary governor, uh, so I get a lot of networking with Rotary to ch support our children. And motivation to children and parents. You see, the children also should be motivated. They should think they can do wonders and they can be normal like any, anyone. And you must have a get-together, all the type 1 children and the family, once in a way, once in six months or once in a year, so that they can exchange ideas how their children are taken care of by their family. And you must show like you know, people like Vaseem Akram, who is on insulin, and then motivate them. Then, then comes the insulin pump. I am very happy. So many people yesterday gave a very innovative starters, and I was really impressed. And I am happy uh, Bansi is organizing technologies in type 1. I think Minal is going to talk. So insulin pump is a very important thing in uh, type 1. External device about the size of a cell phone continuously delivers insulin via indwelling subcutaneous catheter. All of you know all that. The insulin pump closely mimics normal pancreas insulin delivery. And insulin pump, there are two, three types of pump, and I'm not going to the detail. Um, but anyway, uh, insulin pump, if it is necessary, you should not hesitate to give insulin pump. I was talking to one of the diabetologists yesterday in the flight. She was saying, uh, I don't advise insulin pump because it's very difficult for the patient. You know, you must always understand, once the insulin pump is there, they feel normal. Only initial three months, they think insulin pump is not good. But once they are used to it, they become normal like any other child. So Sebastian, you know, claimed the Mount Everest on insulin pump. And people are discussing how to take insulin pump in the hill when it is freezing cold. So those things are now we are discussing. And uh, of course, CGMS and insulin pump. And these are the girls and boys who had insulin pump in our uh, trust. It, they are, there's a transformational changes. So you must come and believe, you must, seeing is believing, you come and see how these children are happy after the insulin pump. All these children individually has got so many uh, incidents of DKA problems in the family, and they are all given, uh, all the underprivileged children, we are given uh, free insulin pumps, thanks to the insulin pump company, who are giving us very, very nominal rate, and they give consumable also regularly. And breaking poverty in diabetes technology, I think this is what uh, Minal, was, Minal is going to talk. And of course, this is the paper we published in the, uh, of, of the 16 patients we had in insulin pump. How many DKs, how many hypo after our uh, insulin pumps. And this is the fight back. At least we have about 10 to 15 children who are, uh, uh, you know, who were married and we supported them. They also delivered a baby and they are all very happy. So they fight back. If you encourage them and motivate these children, they are very happy and they are, they are better than the other children. In fact, one of the uh, type 1 child uh, at the age of 10 years, she gave a talk. She said, I don't want anybody's sympathy. I am on my own. I know what to do. I can do my work. But that confidence they have. So you must bring those children and then talk in the type 1 children clubs. And this is the DK admission before pump uh, 43, after pump 1, and IPO 513 is 45, and severe IPO 43 and 2. Like that, you know, we have all the... Uh, advantages of insulin pump. Why I want to talk about insulin pump? Many physicians, uh, including me, we are hesitant to use insulin pump. Whenever there is insulin pump necessary, when there is a brittle uh, diabetes, when there is too many uh, DKs, too many hypos, and uh, when they have complication, you should uh, advise them insulin pump. It's not that you know they cannot afford. Many people they say they cannot afford, but when you say think this is life saving, they will accept. Because when they are buying saris and uh, mobile phones and televisions for no, nothing. And they see, I know some pre uh, poor people, on first day, Rajinikanth movie, they spend thousand rupees for the family and go and watch the movie. So we must in impress them. That is not at all difficult if you have. This is an un un advanced sensor program. And especially children below five years, you have to have continuous glucose monitoring. And this sensor has come. You put it on the delta, it's about 5,000 rupees. We got our children, about 30 of them, we are giving a sensor also. It's not uh, uh, sensor for uh, one month. We will have to give for continuously. And that also we are getting some discount and we are giving sensor program for the children. Then refrigerator support. You see, 
this is a story of a uh, veena uh, sorry ramya she is in a hut and she doesn't have fridge and she uh, comes to us every time when we see her insulin uh, requirement is more than 100 you know usually in type 1 children does not require more than 25 30 but we we are wondering is this is it insulin resistant then we went into the history found out she doesn't have a refrigerator she keeps the insulin in the hut and it loses potency so very important message you know if somebody comes to you if they don't have a refrigerator try to give them a refrigerator or support in this particular village there is no refrigerator even in the uh, shop so we went and gave one refrigerator in the shop that is useful for the whole community four or five children are using this and uh, we have innovation in the refrigerator also we have got tie up with own refrigerator company and we are uh, uh, we are getting 350 re uh, refrigerators across the country excellent cold chain more than 80 percent reduction in admission if you give good refrigerator the potency of the insulin is good and you can easily get and you know in fact one of the companies i i will share with you once it's confirmed we are working with the refrigerator company they are giving for a refrigerator for 2500 rupees a portable refrigerator which you can carry even if the school also you can carry like that so that sort of a refrigerator is available and they'll be able to help you and then starters uh, Bansi can tell somebody to make a refrigerator also in a cheaper price. Education support. We always give education support through our rotary and lines once they are finished, uh, plus two. And of course, this is Nicole Johnson. And placement support. And you know, in Tripur, we have plenty of opportunities. So even if uh, somebody from Ahmedabad or somebody from uh, Rajasthan or Chennai, Krishna wants to send somebody, Mangesh can also send from Bombay. We've got enough opportunities for children, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, opportunities. We give sewing machines, we give embroidery machines, we train them. So placement support is easy, easy and we've got uh, at least uh, 35 children on, in the, on our program. And health insurance, very important. You know, <clears throat> if you go to health insurance company, they say they won't include type 1 children for some reasons. They say exclusion. But I, we talked to one, Prakash of Star Health Insurance. He's a doctor, he's a surgeon. He understood. He waived all the unwanted things and he agreed for a nominal price of uh, some insurance. And we are giving every child two lakhs insurance, two lakhs. It's good enough even if they get into some problem that can be managed. So we are giving, uh, we are insuring all the children, two lakhs. Per, per, this is called Project Santi, and uh, uh, we are very happy to help them. Very nominal amount. And then exit strategy. Once uh, the, the patients are for 18 years, if they go, what do they do? We cannot support them all the long. So we give them some, we go empower and upskill. We are giving cows, sewing machines, and then computers, and we also make work opportunities work from home strategy. This is called Project Sakti, and uh, we give cows, and then we give two cows, two goats, you know, they know how to breed, especially in the village, they have their livelihood, and with that income, they support the family. This is sewing machine again. And then, now coming to the possibilities. I was talking about priorities. Now, what are the possibilities? Every new day begins with possibilities. This is Ronald Reagan. So you'll have to have research activity. Active research collaboration we are doing with Madras, IIT, Sastra University, VIT, VIT, Chennai. And we are also adopting government hospitals across the state. Wherever the government hospital has got type 1 children more, we go Salem, Coimbatore, Chennai, uh, where these children are uh, collected by the diabetology unit. And we go with the entrepreneurs, Rotary, and adopt a child. Each child, if somebody wants to adapt for in their name of his father or mother, we ask them X amount, like 30,000 per month, for per year, for everything, insulin, refrigerator, insulin strips. So they are very happy. Uh, recently in Tirupur, we adopted 37 children. Each Rotary member has uh, promised and he gave money for uh, 37 children. I requested them, not one year, try to help them lifelong. Because 30, I mean, 30,000 per year, for them is only uh, 2,000 rupees per month, which, you know, they spend, uh, when they go for a hot layat dinner, it costs 20,000 rupees. You sacrifice one dinner, you can adopt a child. That is the policy I always tell them. 
You, when you go for a, see, when Bansi celebrates a birthday, instead of celebrating birthday in a big hotel, if he saves that 30,000 and gives to a child, you know, you can adapt. And suppose you want to go in business class to US, many times I do. I don't go to business, in business class, which is four lakhs. I use one lakh, three lakhs is saved. These three lakhs you can give to the project. Just you sacrifice one night. Instead of going business class, you go by ordinary class. Or, like that, you can save money if, you, if there's a will, there's a way. So you have to adapt the children. And then group of diabetologists can initiate the C peptide test. I think it costs around, uh, around I don't know how many, it's six, seven, 700 rupees or 600 rupees for a C peptide. In Madurai, we have about 10 uh, diabetologists. Uh, they join endocrinology, they join and started this C peptide volume. The test costs only 300 rupees. And they can do genetic tests also. You can do GAD tests, B tests, whatever. If you have a combined volume, I think you can reduce the, uh, all the tests. So I think Madurai Krishna Seshadri must know the Kumara Vale is doing a very good job in collecting all the endocrinologists and doing this lab in a small place. I mean, in a particular town, all of them are sending the patients there and the tests are very cheap. You have unlimited possibilities. The immunotherapies, beta cell replacement, these are all things coming in the uh, future. Of course, this is a busy slide. Uh, uh, this is the potential therapeutic strategies in suppression of beta cell autoimmunity. All of you know a lot of research is going on about immunotherapy. And then BCG vaccine. I don't want to go into the detail. Of course, BCG vaccine leads to long-term improvement in blood sugar levels in type 1 patients. You can try all those, uh, you know, innovative thinking, BCG vaccine, things like that, which are coming in the uh, uh, journals. All of us have enough facility to try and do this. And beta cell replacement, it can be pancreatic, pancreas transplantation, islet cell transplantation, B cells from stem cells, again, another area, stem cell therapy, uh, regeneration of B cells. These are the beta cell replacement, which you can do in, re I mean, in research. And of course, the beta cell, islet tra cell transplantation, uh, then stem cells, I told you, adult stem cells, you can get beta cells from SNR cells, beta cells from pancreatic ductal cells, beta cells from non-pancreatic source, and embryonic stem cells. So stem cells is another area where you'll have to focus on the research. And then generation of beta cells from SNR cells, of course, uh, trans differentiation, uh, reprogramming the terminally differentiated cells to another differentiated phenotype. I mean, all these uh, you know, research activities somebody can undertake will be very useful. And then non-pancreatic non cell source to generate beta cells, I already told you. Uh, liver as a source of pancreatic issue. And liver and pancreas are developmentally related. And hepatocytes are inf uh, infected with virus containing human PDG. So when somebody is interested, dedicate one for this transplant. And glucose sensing contact lens. Very interesting uh, uh, project which I saw in the paper, in the newsletter, I mean, in the, one of the journals. What they do, they put a contact lens and uh, research at the University of Texas. The contact lens is made using meshwork that traps fluorescent molecules inside the lens. The fluorescent molecules in the lens bind to and react with the glucose in the uh, user's tears. So the device reads the wavelength of the fluorescence reflected from the contact lens and translate the reading into a measure of the glucose. So you need not pick the prick every time. By looking at the eye, you can know whether it is in the eye poor or hyper. Higher levels of tolerance means higher levels of glucose. See, this is what uh, they do and uh, very interesting. I think like this, you can have innovative methods of checking the blood sugar without pricking. And again, ta tattoo. I see a lot of ladies have a tattoo. So similarly, if you have a tattoo, uh, polythene glycol beads contacted with fluorescent molecules are injected beneath the skin surface and interact with interstitial fluid. In low glucose, the tattoo is highly fluorescent. The high glucose, the fluorescence beads are displaced by glucose binding and the overall fluorescence of the tattoo de decreases. So fluorescence can be readily uh, detec in detection light. Primary data, tattooed rats have yielded promising results. So these are the areas where you can think and the child have a normal quality life, no pricks, nothing. With, uh, looking at the tattoo, looking at the lens, we can see. And this is the optical reader, how you inject and how you read the tattoo. And then you know the glucose level. And this is again, uh, uh, glucose watch. Even nowadays we have watch for everything. 
to check the blood pressure. You have a mobile watch. And so many apps are there. So approved in 2002, measures sugar every 10 minutes, used for 13 hours. Machine cost 35,000. Sensor is 480. This is auto sensor. This is called a glucose wizard, the solar powered device. Monitors glucose level continuously for one year. Implantable glucose sensor and all those stuff, you know, it's there. And somebody is interested, they can, uh, yesterday I saw, I would have, uh, if uh, Bansi would have asked me, I would have presented these things and asked those starters to make all these things so that it will be useful in the future. And is this the glucose monitor for the future? Imagine not having to carry around a glucose testing meter and testing strips. All you have to do is wear this watch. And the only downside, I can see everyone would know what is your number. It doesn't matter. And what are the future possibilities? Low cost lab tests, which I thought all of us together, you know, try and do in one particular place. In Jaipur, Aravind, Minal, and, and all the diabetologists can join and uh, start a lab. It's very cheap and where you can do all the sophisticated tests for easy, I mean, less cost. And oral insulin. Why not oral insulin? Because now we tried nasal spray and it was failure. Then we stopped it. Now oral insulin is another possibility. If the oral insulin comes, no pricks, the child will be happy to have oral insulin. And newer devices, you know, so many devices have come. So you can do, and suitable artificial pancreas. Stem till therapy, ideal. I, I also have a vision, and uh, I think uh, all of you must also think, whenever type 1 children has any problem, you know, because of hypo and hyper, the ideal treatment is insulin pump, in my opinion. Insulin pump is ideal. You should have a patient-friendly insulin pump. Where, so like, you know, ambulatory blood pressure monitoring is troublesome. But we are coming with some nice wearable ambulatory blood pressure monitoring. Similarly, if you have an ideal uh, portable, I mean, ideal simple, easy, cheap insulin pump, ideal for the patient. So no need to worry, no need to worry about blood sugar, automatic sensor, automatic injections. It's not far off. If everybody thinks the insulin pump, patient-friendly, can be uh, given to any very patient, maybe about 30 to 50,000 rupees, and every children in, the, in, in India and the globe will have an ideal pancreatic, I mean, insulin pump. I, I'm sure insulin pump is the important uh, treatment for type 1 children. I don't know what's Yeah, newer insulin, insulin pump, monitoring devices are available. Islet transplantation has shown promising results. Various immunotherapies in principle in pipeline, not too far from cure of type 1 disease. So these are my these are our children from Salem, Coimbatore, and all government hospitals. And networking with donors is very important. Seeking support from NGOs, everyone do do that. Each Rotary member can adopt a child. Getting international grant from Rotary International. We have got a Coimbatore Rotary International. We got a $95,000 uh, grant uh, last week. And kindly initiate similar or join with us. No contribution is small. Refer indicated children. Even if you are referring a, ch a child from Surat, we will be happy to do and support them. Adopting children for a year to start with. Mobile rural diabetics van. You should have a mobile rural diabetic van so that you can spread awareness and also do treatment and uh, do the uh, investigation. Essential equipments for investigation. Connect to like-minded philanthropists and CSR groups so that you get uh, support for this. So we are, uh, I'm concluding, the Irangal Charitable Trust. We are taken 600 underprivileged children across the nation. 1.2 crores worth of analog insulin every year. Three crores, three crores worth of insulin pump. Uh, we have got 220 children and insulin pump. And coverage, uh, two crores worth of annual insurance cover, 10 lakhs worth of education support, 300 fridges for homes without uh, refrigerator, six government hospitals adapter supported, active research with IIT Madras, diabetic education through Attitude Club, 95% reduction in hospital admission, 2 to 3% reductions in HB1C. So can we do? Yes, we can. Your voice can change the world. We did not come to fear the future. We came here to shape it, says Barack Obama. So bright future, India. Give your best today. You will create a better tomorrow. You can make this child very happy. And challenges are really making life interesting. Overcoming them makes the meaningful life. Thank you very much. And thanks once again. <laughs>